Hello, crashers and rebuilders, and welcome to an episode of Why in the World Won't My ESC Arm. So we're working on Dan's new alien build. This is his first uh, personal, not pre-built machine. And we were trying to flash the ESCs. He's got little B20 Pros on here, covered up in uh, heat shrink, so you can't tell anything about them anyways. Um, but we were over here in BL Heli trying to switch them over from what they come with, 14.4 out of the box, to 14.6. And so um, 1, 3, and 4 were having no problems, but when we were trying to do 2, we would go to flash it. We would say, you know the stuff we're trying to say, yes, everybody's happy, and it would get right around 46%, and you'll notice it goes from writing to reading right around there. Oh, interesting that my computer jumped to not responding, and didn't fail. All right, well, that's not actually what I was going for anyways, but right around that same process, um, it would fail, and I would come up with an error box that unfortunately I wasn't able to capture before we uh, fix the problem here poking around that would say uh, Right failed error and the error was just quote quote. It was blank. So nothing to look up online um, And we we were having a tough time figuring it out. Well, I've gone ahead and I've dug around in here Let me turn the flash on Sorry again for using my cell phone. I really need to use a better camera to be doing this, but uh, Let me go ahead and turn the flash on here and if you look very closely in there, right below ESC number two, this wire here that I'm poking with the uh, the tweezers. If you look just under there, you will see the screw from the center of the PDB. You will see these four screws in the center here, and they poke through uh, to mate on the other side down there and you can see that little shiny thing right in the center of the screen I think that the white wire here let me go ahead and pull ESC number one so you can get a little better of a view here I think that that wire is getting pinched at the top of that screw onto the little servo connector as it's plugged in there and so I think that was what was causing our problems. We ended up poking around in here and eventually it finally worked. So let's tear this thing apart and fix that little pinch. That is not what we want to be having happen in the air. So here we are back with the alien taken apart here a little bit. And hopefully this can focus on here. But you can see these wires. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. These wires are quite mangled. Um, I think maybe the flash is washing it out a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. You can see a little bit better there. Um, very, very squished in a couple of places, uh, both the signal wire and the ground wire. Definitely got some damage uh, from squishage going on down there. So uh, the other thing to check down here is um, and I had felt earlier, these edges here are quite sharp. So I think we have found our culprit, and that is actually the problem at hand. So be very careful when you are installing the flight controller on your Alien. If you're going to put the pins on the bottom like Dan has done here, uh, make sure that your wires are not getting squished below them, uh, because you do have some sharp edges down here. Maybe you might think about putting a little strip of electrical tape over these uh, just to help insulate uh, from sharpness as well as the, the the ground pad itself. Actually, that looks like it will be the, uh, the power pad uh, of your flight controller. So, yeah. Pro tip from someone who's never built an alien before. Be careful of the PDB. But I think that the signal wire itself was being grounded uh, to that screw and causing some interesting problems. So if you end up running into a situation in which your ESCs will not flash, make sure that you're checking your signal wires. Um, the other thing that we did, you will notice, <coughs> well, maybe you, yeah, you'll notice that these, these wires are kind of hanging loose a little bit here. 
we actually pulled the ESC. We thought it was a problem with the ESC itself. So we pulled the ESC and swapped it, but we left the same wires in place and just soldered right onto the pads themselves. Um, and that the brand new ESC and this, the, the one that was on there had been there for one flight. And then this brand new one was doing the exact same thing to us. So that's how we ruled out that it's very unlikely you've got two in a row brand new ESCs causing the problem. So that made us look at the flight controller and the communication between the flight controller and the ESC, which is always the next step. And uh, that was that. So while there's still definitely a surplus of wires down there that he will have to shorten up uh, to drop weight and just make the build a little cleaner. Keep in mind that this is the first iteration of his very first uh, home-built quad. So this will definitely see some changes as he crashes and rebuilds uh, to fit some of his needs a little better. I don't see any more pinching going on and I don't see anything immediately that jumps out to me as being real scary. Uh, with that bundle of wires below there um, other than the fact that there's too many wires and, and we'll have to shorten that up. So I will go ahead and put a couple more standoffs on this thing and throw it on BL Heli and make sure that we can flash everything.